Oh, uh, we love surprises. Thanks a lot, Barney. I've got some post here. Look, it's a very special post. It's come in a posh airmail envelope. It's come all the way from Brussels, from Eiling. It says, Hi, Sim. I like to watch Monster Cafe. Well, keep watching because it's coming next. Can you please say hello to all my friends at St. Brigid's National School in Castle Knock, Dublin, and also the European School in Brussels? Thank you very much for your letter. And what about this? A huge, colourful CBBC is great that's coming from Andrew Hosier, who's eight, from Burton upon Trent. Thanks a lot, Andrew. Brilliant. We've got some questions for you, Junior Jekyll. <gasps> the Blister family are on the trail of Harriet Hyde. I'll sort out Miss Jekyll and her big, ugly friend once and for all. This calls for the services of Sister Blister. And I'm going to get some answers. Ooh, Akata. Friday, 4.20, Children's BBC One. Oh, Akata. Thanks a lot, Josie. That's tomorrow, but this afternoon really is only just beginning. We've got a very special guest coming later, if we can prize him away from his Christmas shopping. Plus, all these programmes still to come. I mean, just a moment, a rather smelly problem for Frankie in Monster Cafe. And then the rats are still in charge of White Deer Farm. Problems for the animals of Farthing Wood. Personalised biscuit tins. Just an idea from the smart team later. And after news round, we wrap up with the final very dramatic Biker Grove. But now, is there a smell in the air? I think it's a visit from the skunk monster at the Monster Cafe. Here we go now. Today on Smart, Zoe's at the Big Bash creating art from a scrap heap. Amazing! And we meet an artist who takes a different perspective. If you know the rules... You can break them. Smart, today at 4.35, Children's BBC One. Very impressive. And to join in with the programme, you need to find yourself in the next half hour or so a biscuit tin and one of your favourite magazines. We've got this one just because Zoe's favourite team is Manchester United. I just want to eat biscuits. Thank you very much, Eric. Get all those together while we watch the animals of Farthing Wood. Smart is coming up, but first of all, you will recognise this. This is our advent door. Advent starts this weekend and you might even start opening up the old advent calendars tomorrow because that's the 1st of December and that is when we shall start opening this very special door because it doesn't have a boring old chocolate behind it. It has your brilliant advent ideas like these. These are just some suggestions that may appear. Dear Sim, says Gordon Allen, I think we should put Otis the Aardvark behind the advent door and then lock it. It's a bit harsh. Be quiet Otis because he drives my dog mad. Well thank you very much Gordon. We'll uh, file that one. And what about this? An email from Cindy Harper, who says, Sim, I have a poem for you. Children's BBC, you're the greatest. You keep us up to date with all the latest. There's just one thing I would like you to know. Behind your advent door, put Gary Barlow. Well, you... Oi, let me out. Oi, Gary, let me be out. quiet. It's not the first yet. You'll have to keep watching tomorrow to see if it's behind there. Three reasons to tune to Live and Kicking this Saturday. Creator of Wallace and Gromit, animator Nick Park will be here. Meet Bev and Ron from The Close. And live in the studio, the leader, Gary Glitter. Three great guests, three hours of non-stop entertainment. Saturday, 9.15, BBC One. You know, I think we'll get Andy Peters in here a bit later to tell us more about that. But first, what's happening in Newsround today? Chris. Thanks, Simeon. Hi, on Newsround tonight, fears for the seaside donkeys in Wales who are facing a cold winter. And stand by for a new invasion. Find out why these strange robots from the United States could soon be the latest craze over here. So join us for those stories and more on Newsround Live at 5. A lot, Chris. We'll see you later. Now, later this afternoon as well, we have a brilliant, very exciting final episode of Biker Grove. Make sure you're watching. But first, biscuit tins at the ready for Smart. You remember the question in last week's show was which of the following colours is not a primary colour? Red, yellow or purple? The answer was purple and the winner of loads of smart goodies is Simon Richardson. Not, not Simon, Simon Richardson, Richardson from Lindbergh. Yes, do you know him? No. no. Not bad, trying to do Otis's part, you see. Right, let's make this a dress rehearsal to remember, all right? The young hopefuls from the biz are back for a brand new series. I hope they weren't a bit too cut up in Well, you've got to believe, haven't you? From the music chart to the movie screen, they know they're the best. Look, I have filmed in Hollywood. I don't care if you pass the wind in Timbuktu. Another top drama from Children's BBC. Action! The Biz returns on Tuesday at ten past five. Oh, lucky you. We have that brilliant final episode of Biker still to come after News Round with Chris.
trifle unlucky, really, Ray, isn't it? Yes, he's still good on all colours, uh, Ted, and it's easy to hit the black off this back cushion, but of course he'd leave his opponent in. If, uh, if he didn't hit uh, the black on the right weight, so he's elected to go for the yellow there. Nowhere near, and the referee called a miss, and I think perhaps quite right. It's easy for Andy to hit the black here. He just doesn't want to take it on, because he'll leave his opponent in. Sorry about that, we seem to have a bit of a technical problem with news round today. Obviously something's got caught up in the wires and uh, we're going to try and sort that out and get some sound coming out of, uh, out of Chris's studio in news round. Uh, the exciting thing is, still to come today, we've got that final episode of Biker Grove. I've seen it and so I can't tell you too much about it because it will spoil the fun, but let me just tell you that it is a real good news, bad news episode. Things aren't looking good for Barney, but that's later. Now let's go back and join Chris for News Round.